Hey guys, it's Hunter here. Welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am so excited that you guys are joining me for this week's video. I'm very excited to share this video with you guys. This is going to be actually a new series that I really do want to incorporate on my video or on my channel. So definitely if this goes over well and you like it, drop a comment down below so that I know you like it and that you want to see the rest of the series. So basically this is going to be a Zodiac series. I love everything Zodiac. I am an Aries ride or die. Um, Aries till I die. I have an Aries tattoo on my back. Like I love everything about my Zodiac sign and I love being an Aries. So I definitely wanted to incorporate my love for the zodiac signs on my channel and do a little bit of zodiac videos for you guys so basically this series is going to be everything you need to know to love a blank and insert a different zodiac sign so today's going to be aries all about me and because aries are like first in the just kind of like the way that the houses go so that's what we're going to be doing today so today's video is going to be everything you need to know to love an aries um and yeah i'm very excited to do this video this is going to be like aimed towards getting an Aries women um so like all of us Aries girls out there this is a video to watch and send to your crushes or whatever so that they can get tips and tricks on how to attract you and things like that and yes yeah, so it's going to be a really fun series I'm excited to see how it goes so if you do like it make sure to thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below join my family it helps me out so much and I love getting to meet all of you guys and don't forget to comment down below because I love to interact with you guys as well so make sure to do that and yeah, today's video, um, I was going to do like my full face of makeup and everything. And then I was like, you know what? No, like I feel good how I look now. And so I want to project that onto you guys and show you guys self-confidence and that it's okay to do videos without a full face of makeup. So yeah, with that, let's get on into this video. Okay. So I have all my notes written in this super cute notebook. I got this notebook yesterday from Target, um, to like write down the scripts and stuff for like these type of videos and like just other notes to jot down and stuff for school and it has these three little succulents and it says you're looking sharp today and I thought it was so cute and it has so many pages and it's just like notebook pages so yeah this was a good find at Target for me yesterday so I have all of the stuff written down on my notebook so I'm looking at that if you are wondering like why am I looking down it's just because I'm like referencing my notes also if you're wondering where my sweater is from this is from Express I can try to find it and link it down below I got it for Christmas so I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is I'll try to link it down below for you guys yeah if you guys ever have any questions about things you see in my video just let me know and I can link them for you guys I'll try to link everything that I haven't already linked um, in the description box I've linked this photo the wall art I can link those and yeah anything else you want linked just let me know and with that all right let's get on into the Aries video okay so as everyone knows Aries are a different type of sign like we love to be leaders and we have very short tempers we can get very aggravated super easily and so some people out there may find it difficult to attract an Aries or to get along with an Aries or they may think that it's like impossible to have a relationship with an Aries um, and so I'm here to tell you that it's not impossible. I'm actually in a relationship, like a year long relationship with someone and he can tell you all about my crazy Ariesness, and he seems to handle me well. Um, but he's also a Libra and Libras are known to go well with Aries to like balance each other out. So that may have something to do with it, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, so I'm going to give you guys a couple tips to maybe relieve that stress of trying to understand an Aries because we are a difficult species let me tell you so first of all we are very natural born leaders and um i think i can sense that in myself like i love to be in control and i like to be the one that's laying everything out and i don't want to follow anybody else's plan i want everything to be my own plan and everyone else follow my plan so basically when you are in a relationship with an aries you need to let us call the shots Sorry, I hear some <laughs> But yeah, so basically you need to let us be in control and let us take control of the relationship and call the shots and make the plans and things like that because that is what we need. We like to feel like we are in control of the relationship. Another thing that we like is we like to have a very strong and assertive 
person that we are in a relationship with, but we don't want them to be so confident and so assertive that they try to challenge us. Because if we feel challenged, then we feel threatened. And that is something you do not want to do. You do not want to threaten an Aries because it will not end well for you. Let me just tell you that. We will go crazy, okay? So you want to be strong and assertive, but you don't want to challenge us. Be too assertive to where we might take that as you're challenging us. All right, we also do like a person that will stand up to us. So this is a quality that I think works well in my relationship is that Connor does stand up to me in our arguments. And I think that that is what an Aries woman or man needs is someone who will stand up with them and make them like realize and give them a little bit of a challenge because we love to be challenged. Um, so I think that is very important to always stand up to an Aries. Um, don't be too scared to stand up to us. Um, this is another tip that I noticed that kind of came into my relationship is to make it very clear that you like this person and that you are interested um, because we don't see the signs. We don't like to see the signs. So basically Connor had liked me for a period of time but had like never straight up told me and everyone else saw it but I never did and I guess that's just my airy self not wanting to see the signs because I wanted it to be laid out flatly like, hey, I like you. So definitely be like straight to the point and be very clear and tell this person, this Aries person multiple times how you truly feel about them. And I think that's going to like help you out wonders because I was just so oblivious. <laughs> okay, so the next tip to love an Aries is don't be too easy and always leave them chasing. So basically, we love a chase. We don't want anything to be just handed to us. We want to have to work for it. And we love the thrill of the chase. So definitely like give some like flirty tips and then sit back and wait for us to come to you because we like that. We like to be challenged again. We like to be, um, we like to chase after thing. We're like lions. We like to chase our prey. So do that. Always be truthful. Again, we really cannot stand liars. So you're gonna always wanna be truthful and honest with your Aries partner because when you aren't, it's going to very much upset us. And I do um, really strongly val value a truthful person. So I think that is a good tip to always follow in any relationship with any person is to always be truthful. Okay, and then another tip is don't make us jealous. We wanna be number one in your eyes. We wanna be number one. We don't want you to talk about other girls. You know, like that works for some people, that's like a tactic, but no, not with an Aries. You want to not make us jealous. We want to be number one in your eyes and we want to know that we're number one in your eyes. So always remember that. And you always want to present this Aries woman or man with new challenges. You want to present her with new challenges. We love to have new challenges. Um, we like to do new things um, that challenge us. So like always do things that can challenge us so like do spontaneous things things that are going to make us like take us off guard but going to be fun we always like to have things constantly changing constantly challenging us we never want our relationship to be stagnant um so yes that's definitely a tip like always constantly try to challenge your aries man or woman in your life because they love that and they love to be challenged again they like to be leaders and they like to chase after things so all these things are like full circle but yeah you can figure that out Okay, so we've, we like for, so also when an Aries person is we like for our significant other to know how to calm us down and like to come to our side when we're angry. So being an Aries, we have a very short temper. We get very hot headed and we like to argue and we want to have a person who knows how to calm us down and knows how to be there for us and help us and like know that they are there for us and that they're going to come to our side. And I think that is very true in my relationship and that Connor has come to a point where he knows how to handle me and calm me down and he knows the right things to say, what's going to make me angry, what's going to calm me down. And so I think that that is something that I really enjoy is that I know that he will most likely always take my side and that he will be there and he'll know how to calm me down and bring me back to reality, even though sometimes he does make me mad. But usually he's the one that can bring me back and help me out. So I love that about him. All right. So then once again, I said, do be flirty, be flirty all the time. We love to flirt. Aries are very much a flirty 
sign. So be flirty back, but then sit back and let us come to you again with the chase. But always be flirty because we love to be flirty. So if you're flirty, we're gonna love that too. Okay, next up is a big thing in an Aries relationship is do surprises. We love to be surprised. We love to know that you've taken the time to think about us and do something that's going to make us happy and surprise us. And we always like for things to be changing. So if you're going to date an Aries, you need to plan surprises and do things spontaneously because they really do need that and they crave that spontaneity. So surprises are a good thing with an Aries. And then next tip is going to be be a good listener. We really like to be heard. We really like for our partner to listen to us and understand us and we really like to feel like we're being heard and listened to and I know that Connor struggles with this because um, I always catch him not listening to me and then I get kind of upset when I find out he's not listening to me. Um, so he's still kind of working on that one but he's a Libra so he's always like in la la land and not always listening and focusing on what I'm saying. But yes, I do very much value when someone takes the time to listen to what I'm saying and understand it and not just like give me a random answer. Um, okay, so another thing is when you are fighting, you don't want to let your temper blow because we will not tolerate this and this is going to lead to confrontation and arguments because we are very hot-headed, temper, easily tempered person. So when you go crazy and come at us, we're going to just lash back out at you with even more force. And like I said, it's going to lead to confrontation and more arguments and just a continuous loop of anger. So try to not let your temper blow with an Aries person just because we are a fire sign and so like led by our tempers that if you can, try to not go super crazy with that. Um, and so another tip to think about with an Aries is that we're rarely complicated and we really just want simplicity. And so if you just try to like do everything simply and don't try to overcomplicate it, we love that. We may seem, like Aries seems like it's such a complicated sign, but really we do yearn just for simplicity. Um, so if you can bring that simplicity into the relationship and somehow I think that the Aries woman or man in your life would really, really appreciate that. So that's good. Um, another tip is that Aries really only stress the meaning of love when it actually means something to us. So if you are with an Aries man or woman and they're really stressing how much they love you, then you really know that it's like true and that they're really feeling that because otherwise we really wouldn't stress the meaning of love if it didn't actually mean something to us. And so I think Connor sees that a lot too because I'm always stressing how much I love him and I want him to know that because it really does mean a lot to me. So that is another good tip. And another good tip to have with, when you're in a relationship with an Aries man or woman is that we will always stand by you and lift you up and treat you with love and appreciation and um, we'll always like be there. And if you give us those things, then we're going to give you that back like 10 times more and we're going to be faithful to you, love you, give you the appreciation you deserve, and we'll always be by you. And like, that's another, that's a really good thing about Aries is that we're so passionate and we, like, if you treat us good, we're going to treat you even better. And so that's like a positive of being in a relationship with an Aries is you have the chance to have this very hot-headed, short-tempered person love you and care for you and stand by your side no matter what. So I think that's really special in an Aries relationship. Um, Another thing to do is to give us time and show attention to detail. We really like, like this is going back, we like to be known that people are paying attention to us and understanding us and that you're not just giving us some like half-assed answer, that you listened to what you what we said and you gave us a thoughtful response back. And then we just like simple, genuine compliments. We don't need all these extravagant things, although I do kind of like, like um, maybe flowers or something like that. But honestly, if you just give us simple, genuine compliments, we love that and it will make an Aries just so happy. Like they don't need, we don't need extravagant big things. Just give them simple, genuine compliments that come from your heart and they will be very, very happy with that. And then also we love for our partners to be very independent themselves and strong-willed and accomplish things in their own life. And we love to hear about your, comp your accomplishments and what you've achieved and what your goals in life are. We love that and we feed off for that. We like to share those with our partners and we like to hear what they're accomplishing. We don't want them to just like, 
ask, you know, what are we doing? We want to know what they're doing and that they're being successful. And so I love to ask Connor, you know, how are you doing? I like to hear about what he's doing in his life when he gets job interviews. I'm really excited for him. I'd love to hear all of that. And we love to hear that. Um, so that is that. And then the last tip that I have you for an Aries is be attentive because we expect you to be lucky that we love you. <laughs> so basically we are very, um, very, we love ourselves. And so we consider you lucky to be able to have the chance to be loved by us. So that is just something you have to grasp with an Aries. But yeah, those are all my tips that I have for you guys for everything you need to know to love an Aries. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you're an Aries and you relate to some of these, leave them down below because I definitely relate to some of them. And I think it's just so funny um, how much of a true Aries that I really am. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see the next sign that I'm going to do, like this video. Let me know that you want to see some more signs and I will hopefully do more in the future. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, all my products and things will be li linked in the description below. And I will see you guys all in the next video.